Hey everyone, I'm Trevor and you're watching SoCal Disney Dad. Today we are at Night's Smokehouse Barbecue. We've eaten here a couple of times before, but we've never done a formal review. And here we are doing a formal review just for you. So let's get going. I absolutely love Night's for its theming. They've got you know, this Lego guy over here off to the left. We have the dragon coming out of the main building here. Looks like someone coming out of a window up there. And so here we're going inside. It's a buffet style in a sense. Um, you grab a tray and you just grab stuff off the buffet. You get up to the main food area and they'll they'll put it on a plate for you after you tell them exactly what you want um, but wow these cookies look a lot better than they have in the past I think I'm gonna get one these brownies the last time I had one they look really really good but they tasted kind of dry I don't know if it's changed since I've had it and then of course they have these mega huge rice krispies that we saw at the urban kitchen I didn't realize they had them here as well Amy really wants a s'mores cup Say, I, they have a s'mores cup, a banana pudding, and a rice pudding espresso. They also have a rice pudding butterscotch. So four different types of pudding cups here if you want rice pudding or regular pudding. They have a variety of salads here if you would prefer a salad. And they have a coleslaw and potato salad down there on the end. Actually, the potato salad looks really good. Are we splitting food? Because if we are, I'm gonna grab a potato salad. They have cups of baked beans and street corn as well. Here is a look at the menu. They have Knight's All Favorites over here, Mary's Roasted Chicken. We have Beeler's St. Louis Ribs, and then the all-natural platter there. And then here are their signature platters. Smoked Haven comes with brisket, pulled pork, and ribs. Taste of Texas comes with brisket, pulled pork, and a hot link. And then the Smokehouse is just the brisket and the hot link. And here is a look at all that food ready to get added to your plate. It is so, so good. And then they also have these biscuits and cornbread that you can grab as well. So uh, a couple of trips ago, we got this cup and it's good for 365 days, free refills. And we paid one time and we get free refills for the next year. And this was a great purchase. Well, my mom has been wanting one since we got one. The last time we were here, we went to multiple different locations, couldn't find the cup. They said that Knight's Smokehouse had it. So we came back here and they said, yes, we have the 365 day cup. But it didn't look like this. It was like a blue cup, a completely solid blue cup. And they said, it's a $1.45 refills. And we're like, well, we don't want the $1.45 refill. We want the free refill cup for 365 days. And they said that we had a limited number of those and they ran out real fast. There, there might be some lingering here or there around the park, but um, they don't have them anymore. And so that's kind of disappointing because my mom really, really wanted one of these cups. They come in super, super handy. Um, but I guess, you know, if you've been following our videos and you've been looking for that cup, I'm not sure you're gonna be able to find it, unfortunately. All right, here is a look at our food. This is the, uh, what is it called again? Is it the Texas no, that was the one that we oh, almost got. Haven. Smoked Haven. This is the Smoked Haven, and it comes with brisket there on the left, pulled pork there on the right, and a big rack of ribs right there in the center. We've got this in the past and the ribs weren't the greatest in the world, but I have assurances from the people that work here. The ribs taste fantastic today. One of the workers told us that she had it for lunch and it was mm, very good. So I'm taking her word for it. We got the smoked haven because of her recommendation. I was told in the past that you could get just the pulled pork and I asked for an extra helping of pulled pork substituting out for one of the items. And they said that you couldn't do that. So I guess you can't get just the pulled pork because there's no menu item that is only pulled pork. But in my opinion, from my past visit, the pulled pork was the best item. Now we're gonna check this out and see if that holds up today or if our opinions of the food have changed. All right, I'm gonna start with the smoked pulled pork because it's what I want the most. Can I move your cookie off the It's kind of cold. 
I'm gonna have another bite. The meat's really cold today. I don't know if it's supposed to be. The flavor is still very, very good, but the meat's kind of cold. Amy took a bite of the ribs here. They're so better than they're better than last time. All right. Believe it or not, the meat on this fork is rib. I pulled it off the bone and and spiked it on there. There's a little bit of um, of the pulled pork in here, but this is rib, and so we're gonna try it out. Mmm. Wow. That rib is very good. Better than the pulled pork today. In fact, the rib is like warm too, whereas the pulled pork was cold. So um, I don't know what's there, but the ribs, wow. I think I'm gonna really, really enjoy the ribs today. Amy's gonna have a piece of brisket now. Thumbs up. Good. Yeah, I mean, temperature-wise, it's not hot, but. Out of all three of the items? Um, you haven't had haven't any pulled pork yet? About the same. About the same. But, I mean, it still all tastes good, so. So I just had a piece of the brisket, and if I had to rank them today, and today only, I think I would say ribs, brisket, and then pulled pork, which is a big drastic shift from the last time we ate here, because I put pulled pork at the top, then the brisket, and then the hot link. Um, and so brisket and pulled pork have swapped places today, and the ribs are way better than the first time that we ate here um, four visits ago, or three visits ago. Uh, so, I don't know, everything is constantly shifting here. I, uh, by and large, though, I prefer Knight's Smokehouse Barbecue over the other locations here at Legoland. Um, even if the food changes in ranking for me on which is the better of the meats, they're all fantastic meats. And I can't wait to have the rest of my meal now. So, I'm going to put the camera down, and I'll check back in with you later. So, here we have our desserts. Uh, I managed to stop Amy from eating it <laughs> before she... Uh, broke the layers there. Of course, she did start on it a little bit. Um, but we got the s'mores pudding cup on the left, and we have just a chocolate chip cookie on the right, and we're interested to see how these go. Before we have those desserts, though, I did want to mention that these little bread rolls were hiding behind the ribs. I already ate mine. That one's Amy's. It was okay, but um, they do add that to the meal, too. But Amy's going to have some of that s'mores cup. The um, graham cracker is really good. The pudding's just, I don't know. I've had better chocolate pudding even, but. How about the marshmallow? Uh, pie. Yeah. Pie pie. Pie. That part's pretty good. I wish I had um, like marshmallow and cream layers in there. Then it would taste more like a s'more. Instead it just tastes like Chocolate pudding and graham cracker. I see. Yeah. No, I know I'm boring and I just have a chocolate chip cookie. Um, but it looks really, really good, so I hope it is. Mmm. Mmm. Better than the brownie? Mm-hmm. I have to admit, going into biting that cookie, I expected it to be hard and like stalish because that's exactly how my brownie was the last time. But I bit into it and it was soft and gooey. Look at all of that ooey, gooey chocolate chip chunk and things. Oh, so very, very good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, well, final thoughts here. Just while I'm sitting, everyone else is kind of getting ready to go here, uh, putting some things away. But uh, I had the potato salad. The potato salad was. Mm very very good too everything here at night's barbecue is just fantastic um i had potato salad at sea world a week and a half ago this potato salad by far juice? exceeded sea world potato salad juice? i would highly recommend getting that potato salad if you, you like potato salad juice? i don't think you could go wrong with really any of their sides i mean to me the baked beans didn't really look all that great um but most of the food here is is just pretty amazing like i said you can't go wrong with either of the options um, either the main three signature dishes. I've never had the chicken here. That's the one thing that I haven't had. 
is that like rosemary chicken or whatever it is. Uh, so, you know, it, it may be hit or miss on the chicken, but I can personally vouch for the ribs, brisket, uh, smoked uh, pulled pork, and I've had the hot link, it's okay. Uh, it was good. You know, if you want a hot link, go ahead and get it too. But Knight's Smokehouse Barbecue, great recommendation. Probably my favorite place to eat at here in Legoland. So if you're only coming to Legoland for a day, you know, or once a year or whatever it is, make sure that Knight's Smokehouse Barbecue is on your list of places to visit. Well, that is it for our time here at Knight's Smokehouse Barbecue. Thanks for watching, appreciate it very, very much. If you wanna see more videos like this, Legoland, California, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, we will see you again next time.